All right. <clears throat> Good day, everybody. Um, we are now in week six, and I want to um, I want to let you guys know right off before we start week six that next week you guys have an assignment which we're going to talk about at the end of this slide, mm, and um, the assignment's worth 15% of your mark, and it's extremely it's an extremely important assignment for you guys to finish up, and I really hope you guys. Um, you know, put your mind and thoughts towards this assignment because I'm going to be grading them in a lot of detail. Um, and this is an extremely important 15% of your guys' mark. So make sure that you guys work hard and and do put as much detail as possible into this assignment. Okay, so with that being said, week six, we're talking about information system strategy and e-business strategy. Okay, so let's get into that. This is not going to be a very long. Um, it's not going to be a very long class. This one, um, this video. So, what is information system strategy? So, strategic information systems are information systems that are developed in response to corporate business initiative. So, pretty much what that means is they're just any type of information systems that are um, put together in uh, in a way that will benefit the um, goals and objectives of a business okay so um, anything that a business is trying to accomplish this information system pretty much aids it to get there so they're intended to give competitive advantage to the organization so competitive advantage means your company is so as a business a majority of the time businesses compete with each other there's not just one business doing one thing there's a bunch of different a bunch of businesses doing the same thing so those are your competitors so an information system strategy is something that you implement in order to give yourself an advantage over your over your, your competition okay it may deliver a service or product that is at a lower price differentiated and mainly concentrates on a demanding market section or which is innovative okay so it delivers a service or product that is at a lower price so you put the system into place in order for it to be, in order to get your product or service at a lower price, make your make your make your business more efficient, um, make your business able to uh, procure supplies, procure product, uh, procure a raw material for um, for a cheaper price. Okay, which makes your makes your product more or less expensive, right? But also it can make your product better than the competition. So even if it's more expensive, it's better than the competition. So this is what information system strategy information system strategies are. So it involves aligning information system development with business needs as we spoke. It should be demand oriented and business focused, of course, right? It should always be focused on um, what the customer demand is and what the business is focused on doing considers what information is needed at strategic, tactical, and operational levels of an organization to meet its objective. So it takes into account all the strategies that, um, that the business, uh, that the business is, uh, moving, moving with, right. And, um, it uh, it tries its best to meet those objectives. Okay. Must be able to deliver tangible benefits like the effectiveness of operations, increased profit. So you can't put an information system in without having it actually making a difference. And you have to be able to see that difference. So if you have this information system put into place, it has to be it has to be something that is generating profits, is decreasing employee turnaround. Um, is increasing the efficiency of the product or the service okay so it highlights what information is needed to achieve the business objectives um, may form to use informational resources for generating new business opportunities it must be able to meet the demand of an organization right so all these things all these things have to be um, this is why an information system is put into place right so it can meet the demands and the and the needs and the wants of an organization. So it must be functional based. How can organizations, functions, divisions, strategic businesses, units perform well? So it must be functional based, right? So it focuses on it focuses on like supply chain, and so it focuses on 
um, uh, efficiency of the product, uh, manufacturing of the product, um, how to make your services more efficient, right? Provides a link between organizational demand, information technology. Okay, so that's basically in a nutshell what information systems is. So examples of information systems, okay? So expansion into e-business to meet customer demand, okay? So for example, the use of a website by local CD store to stay in the market, okay? So uh, a CD store is gonna put in an information system like a website, um, it could be, uh, look here, I'll, we'll, we'll keep going. So use of website by local CD store, you know, people, uh, companies that sell CDs, um, so they're going to use the website in order to stay in the market and um, uh, in order to be more competitive and in order to reach a broader a broader group of people. They're going to use a website in order to do that, right? So technology becomes a threat when it's not adopted at the right time. So if technology comes out that your business is not using, for example, Purist College, right? The college that we are at, we're at right now. Um, if we weren't technologically savvy and we did not know how to use Google Meet, Google Classroom, you know, all of our technological things that we do, um, you know, have you guys email me and all that stuff, we would be, we would have to shut down the college because everything is done in the college, right? We used to go to the college, we used to go to classrooms and stuff like that. Now, because of the the information system strategy that we put into place at Purez, we put in, okay, we're going to use Google Classroom for all our assignments and all our material and all that stuff, all our grading, right? We're going to use Google Meet in order for us to talk and, 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 and see each other live face-to-face. -face. We're going to use YouTube to post videos right and these are things that if you don't do they become very difficult for an organization to stay alive okay an organization's campaign to save costs for competitive advantage by adopting modern infrastructure so for example um i used to work uh for a um a oil distributor okay we used to oil mate we used to manufacture commodities right so one of the commodities was oil uh, uh soybean and canola oil uh, on a massive scale okay like millions and tons and tons and millions of tons of pounds uh millions of tons of oil and millions of pounds of oil we used to we used to we used to manufacture per year okay um and so <clears throat> what we would do is we would sell a lot of that oil to repackers okay so these guys would repack put it into jugs and stuff like that and sell it at the market so Costco uh, Sobeys all the grocery stores where you guys go those people that you buy you know you pick up a, a olive oil or canola oil or, or vegetable oil all of that stuff those guys are just repackers all of the oil is coming from the exact same places this the exact same oil so all they do is just package differently and sell it to different people. So if their packaging looks nice, you say, hey, you know what? This looks like higher end oil, but really it's the same thing. Anyway, so what they would do is in order to make them, because they're all getting the same product, the information system strategy that they would use, that they would put into place would be things like updating their website, making their website look like, hey, you know, they would say stuff like, been in business since 1922 been business since 1952 always providing the best quality oils to these clients but really at the end of the day all the oil was coming from us we used to supply them it was all the same stuff um what another inform another strategy they would use is um they would add a little bit of beta carotene which is vitamin a and when you add vitamin a to oil uh, what happens is the oil becomes a little more red. It becomes, it looks a little more red. And some people look at that and say, "Oh, look, this oil is more red. It, it's more, it's more rich in in flavor and more rich in in nutrients or whatever." Let's buy this one. But really, it's the exact same oil. All they did was add a little bit of vitamin A, vitamin A to change the color. 
Um, and then you would have an information system. Uh, what, would, what they would do is they would actually put in... Uh, so a lot of guys used to um, bottle by hand, right? There's a bottle, a cap it, put it, a bottle, a cap it, put it. So one of, one of my clients actually bought a, a robot, a robotic arm. He had two robotic arms that did all the work for him. So he completely uh, canceled out all his labor. He, he fired so many people and made his, made his business so much more efficient, which made him so competitive in the market. He started getting all the business. He got Costco. He got, he got uh, Walmart. He got all the, all the big chains. He ended up getting because he put in this new information system, right? Which, um, which told these robots how to pack all this product and put it to one side. And then he, and then he another robot, another information system, which told this robot how to wrap the product and then put it aside. So he could generate, all he had to do was have one truck come in. And that truck would offload the oil into his tank. And as soon as he had the oil in his tank, he could ramp like just thousands and thousands and thousands of bottles per day. So very, very intelligent, um, very rich guy. He lives in a penthouse um, in, in downtown Toronto. I actually went to go meet him in downtown Toronto. Um, and it was... Uh, it was he lives in the four seasons so if you guys if you guys want to look it up there's a there's a hotel called the four seasons downtown toronto um right in right at the bottom of that hotel there is a a restaurant called the d bar and so i met him at the d bar while he was trying to purchase some oil from us so he said hey why don't you come why don't you come to my place so i drove over to his place and uh we had a few drinks. We we had a, we had a meal and we talked and stuff and we did a deal. And um, his penthouse was so this building is massive. There's hotel, hotel, hotel on every floor, and right at the top was a huge multi-million dollar penthouse, probably roughly around fifteen million dollars for that penthouse. And he lived in that penthouse. So. So this, this is the type of this is the type of life you guys need to live in order for you to make some money in this industry, and in, in this in this world you have to have a certain type of business that is doing very 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 well in order to live in places like that. So, so that's pretty much it for the examples of information systems. So why is information uh, system strategy so important? Okay, so it provides a connection between demands of an organization and latest information technology so it it provi so the connection is now if you have you have this business right so he has this business this this, this container uh packaging uh oil packaging business his demands is i need more output but i don't want to pay so much labor and labor people get sick people get tired people want to take breaks he said, I don't want that anymore. I want to get rid of that, but I want to increase my output. So how do I, do I hire more people? Do I hire more people? Do I manage my people better? But how do I manage people getting sick? How do I manage, um, how do I manage people not showing up to work? If someone just, you know, ends up just quitting, then I'm going to have a full day of no production so what can i do i know my i know my demand is i want to make a lot more oil i want to package a lot more oil but how do i get there so that's how why it's information systems are so important because it takes the latest information technology the latest technology and then your demands and then puts them together okay it finds that bridge on how to use this to get to get your demand okay so this tactic helps an organization to get hold of the market by utilizing information technology to meet its changing requirements to the continuous variation in the corporate environment. So in a nutshell, what this is trying, what, what this, this point is trying to say is 
it helps the organization get to its goals and it gets to to get to where it wants to go by the use of information system by the use of technology okay so this is why information system strategy is so important okay so there's two types of information support systems okay operation support systems and management support systems okay so operation support systems the primary purpose of the system is to keep a check on transactions operations control supply chain and management it also helps to facilitate internal and external talks and updates the central main database of the organization okay so operation support system is an is a um a system an information system that is focuses directly on the operations okay so it focuses on the, like the transactions um, the supply chain. So how it, how efficient is is the is the warehouse? How efficient is our business? Um, so it just looks at the operations. Okay, so it really focuses on operations. So management support system is different. It enables the effective decision and task operation process more manageable for the. Ma it enables yeah. So it makes it more. Uh, it makes the decision making process more manageable manageable for managers. So essentially divided into. Uh, strategy like management decision, accounting, expert information system. These systems facilitate and provide precise information. Okay, um, so for uh, so pretty much for decision making processes. Okay, so your operation support system is information systems that help make your operations more efficient, and then the management support system is an information system that is used in order to help managers make better decisions. Okay, so that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Those are the two types. Okay, so now we're getting into your assignment for next week, due week seven. Guys, it's not difficult. Very, very easy, okay? So assignment's worth 15% of your overall mark. It's an extremely important assignment seeing as it's worth so much. It's worth 15%, it's a big chunk of your mark, guys. So you have to make sure you get it done on time because if you don't get it done on time, I'm taking right off the bat, I'm taking 30% off. Now, depending on how late you guys are, if you're late by an hour, or two hours, three hours, four hours, I'm going to take more and more and more and more and more marks off. Even if you have the best website, even if you have the best assignment, I will still give you 30 to 50% off because you guys are late. And if you fail my class, you fail this semester, you fail and you're not going to pass and you're going to be wasting your money. So don't be, don't, don't make this a, don't procrastinate. Okay. Don't make this something that you guys say, I just push it aside and stuff like that, because I will fail you if you guys are late and if you guys don't do a good job. Okay. It's not worth it. Make sure you guys do it on time. Okay. So what the assignment is, okay. The assignment has two parts. So I want you guys to come up with any type of business. It could be something that you guys have dreamed of doing. It could be something that you thought of doing. It could be something that you think you want to do. You might do. It could be anything. Okay. So come up with any type of business. So flower shop, tech company, transport company. I don't care what it is. Make one up. Now, I want you to write a one to two page report on the business. Okay. And when I say I want to report on a business, I mean, I want to know details of this business on the name of your business. I want to know the slogan of your business. I want to know why you're in business, who your competitors are. I want to know what, what your, what products you're selling, what, what makes your product better or service better than the, the competitor. What benefit um, can you give your customer that you, that your customer can't get from your, 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 um, your competitor. What e-business strategies are you putting in place, right? I need to know what e-business strategies and what benefit can your business have from developing these e-business strategies, okay? So I want to know as much as possible about this business. I'm going to read very in detail about your business, okay? And then part two is now you need to make a free website for this business, okay? You can go on Wix, make a free website. I'm posting a YouTube link for you guys on uh, Google Classroom, you can watch that YouTube link to learn how to quickly make a, a, a Wix website or easily make a Wix website. But the things I'm looking for really in the Wix website are detail. So I want it to be a good looking website. Okay guys, I want the business, I want to see what the business does, pictures, slogan of the business, service products, uh, uh, services and products offered. 
the, I want to see the detail of this website. I need it to be a good looking website. If you want, go on different websites. Look at look at different websites. See how see how they do it. And then try, even if you want to try and copy a little bit, try and copy that. Okay? So is the information clear? I need to have proper English, proper grammar. This is a proper English school and I need you guys to have proper English and proper grammar. If I see spelling mistakes, I'm taking marks off. If I see if I see uh, like weird just weird paragraphs that don't make sense, I'm taking marks off. It needs to be I needed to have clarity and I need to be it needs to be very easy to navigate. Okay? I want to see like name of the business and then about the business and then um, you know service products offer uh, um, why you're in business, like you know stuff like that. So look on YouTube, fi- watch that YouTube video, and then also look up different websites, and then take some take some examples from there. And I want a good looking website based on your business. Okay, guys, and that's pretty much it. Um, make sure you guys take your time when you do this. You have all week. It's not long. It could take you like max one hour to do the the one to two page report, right? It should be not too long, one to two hours to do it because it's all in your head. You just type it all down, make sure the, the, the you guys do it right. If you need more time, obviously take more time. Um, if you know, Don't try to complete it in one hour, please, okay? Uh, but, you know, it should take you a few, you know, a few hours to come up with the idea, put it all down, easy. And the web, Wix website, another few hours. So you have a full week to get that done. So make sure you make time for it. Okay? So that's pretty much it for this week. We discussed um, information system strategies. Um, and we, I'm really focusing on this assignment. Okay? That's why I didn't make this class too long. I wanted you guys to focus more on this assignment. Okay? So make sure you guys get it done. All right. Thanks, guys.